Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm a speech language pathologist and clinical program coordinator for the AIM program. Today we're going to talk about school meetings. It's that time of year again when kids are going back to school and schools are organizing parent and teacher meetings. So there's a few kind of key tips that's really helpful to know before going into those meetings. So what are the things you need to know? So first we're going to talk about what an IEP or IIP meeting is. Who usually attends these meetings? What is your role at these meetings? And then how can AIM help? So IEP stands for Individual Education Plan and IIP stands for Inclusion and Intervention Plan. Both of these terms are used interchangeably in schools within Saskatoon. Um, and so basically both of them mean a formal meeting with your child's school to discuss the progress from the previous year and to make new goals for the new year. So what can you expect for an outline at an IEP or IIP meeting? So usually that first step is those round table introductions. So typically the classroom teacher, um, a learning assistant teacher or an LAT might attend the meeting. Um, maybe your school speech language pathologist will attend. If your child sees a school occupational therapist, they might be at this meeting. Sometimes the school principal or even some uh, school board members might attend. Of course, you attend, um, your spouse can attend, um, any other family members that want to attend can. Um, the child that is being discussed at the meeting usually does not attend, but anybody else can. Um, you are able to bring a friend or support person if you feel it's necessary. And then outside agencies like the AIM team or Kinsman Children's Center or other therapies can attend. Okay, so that second part of an IEP or IIP meeting is usually an update from parents or caregivers. And sometimes this will take parents or caregivers um, back a little bit because um, they weren't prepared for it. Um, but really it's just an informal way for parents to share what's been happening over the summer or some of your child's strengths or challenges. So AIM has an all about me visual. Um, that you are welcome to fill out um, and bring to the meeting if you would like. Um, so it goes over things like your child's strengths, things they like, things they don't like. Um, and so this is really helpful to share at the meeting if you would like to. If you don't want to fill this out, you can just informally share some of the things about your child. So some key things to share with the school would be things that are hard for your child, some things that are their favorite, uh, maybe some safety concerns that have developed over the summer. So maybe they've been running away a little bit more. Um, have there been changes with speech? Have there been changes with academics? Maybe they now know their numbers up to 10. Um, have there been fine motor changes? So maybe they're, they're now holding a pencil. Um, are there any life skill changes? Like are they using the bathroom by themselves now? Um, so these are some great things to share with the school team. So typically that last piece of an IEP or IIP meeting is for the school to share some of their goals with you. So school tends to highlight four, five, maybe even six goals from different categories. So typically they'll highlight one or two communication or social goals, maybe one or two independent or life skill goals, maybe one or two academic goals. Um, you have to realize that not all the goals that you would expect school to be working on will be highlighted in this report. It doesn't mean that they're not working on these goals. They just might not be working on them or measuring them in the same way. Um, and so there are so many goals that school is working on. They've picked a few just to measure it in a certain way. However, if you don't see a goal that you think really should be on the, on, in the report, um, it's worth mentioning to your team. So you do want to see you know, at least one goal from various categories like communication, independence, and academics. So if you are missing a goal from, let's say, academics, um, it would be worth mentioning to your school team. So here are some tips to prepare for the meeting. So you can ask whoever is organizing the meeting for a list of members that are going to be attending um, to give you that heads up. 
you can ask for an agenda ahead of time so you know when it is going to be your turn to share some information. You can fill out an All About Me form ahead of time. Um, again, AIM has this form that you're welcome to use. Or you can just brainstorm some of the key um, elements that you do want to share with, with the school. Think about the goals you have. So do you have an academic goal that you really want the school to be working on? Um, do you have a communication or social goal that you really want them to work on? Um, you can jot those down before and bring them if you would like. Um, and then you can invite support. So invite a friend or invite the AIM team, invite, um, invite Kinsman Children's Center. Just let the school know that you are inviting those people. Your role at the IEP or IIP meeting. This is really an exciting time for you. You are part of the team. You get to share your questions. Um, you can give suggestions. Um, you can express whatever you need to during this meeting um, so that you can make sure that your child has a really good year at school. And then, of course, you sign the document when you're ready. So if you want to take the document home, share with your spouse, think things over, maybe you want something changed on it, that's totally your right, and you can have that done before signing it. AIM is a part of your outside team, and we're happy to join in any school meetings that you have. Just give us... Um, a heads up or include us in the emails to really ensure that we're available that day. But this is a really great time for school and AIM to connect about different perspectives. Um, school sees your child in a group setting and AIM sees them in, in more of an individual or small group setting. And so we see different things. Um, and so this is a really great time for maybe AIM to give a different lens to some of the goals that school might have or share some different strategies. Um, so it's really important that we can be together to, sh to share those different perspectives. Um, it's also important that all team members, AIM and school, work towards some of the same goals. Of course, we'll have some different ones, but if we can overlap on some of the goals, um, we will end up seeing more progress. And then you can also bring AIM reports to these meetings, um, and sometimes schools will use them um, to kind of guide some of their school goals. So this is an example of an AIM report, and what you'll see here is that schools can pull some of those um, suggestions that we have. So for instance, they might pull the social communication goal that we have at AIM and use it for their one to two communication or social goal at school. They might pull a phonemic awareness or fine motor um, goal that we have at AIM and use it for their one to two academic goals that they have at school. So it's a nice way to really share those goals and be on the same page with school. If you have any questions about school meetings, reach out to an AIM team member and we'd be happy to give you more information. And invite us to your next school meeting. We'd love to be there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching AIM to Achieve. Check out our YouTube station for more videos and don't forget to subscribe or leave us a like.